So um, we're just leaving our sheltered anchorage in Mayaguana and uh, picking our way through coral heads. We're okay, we've got quite a lot of depth under the keel, so, um, and the keel's halfway up. So we've got, I'm using this, which is uh, Navionics, to guide us through. The best thing for coral navigation is um, the eyeball. But it's overcast today, which means it's not as good as it could be. So we've got, we've got one eye on the depth gauge, one eye on the Navionics, and another eye on uh, the sea. Teresa's doing uh, the same navigation from port side with our plotter. Plus we've got the advantage of having Bo and Alison in front of us who are following the track they took in to get out. So, uh, But you know, I think this is going to be all part of sailing the Bahamas. Uh, and much of the sailing we're going to do in, these wa in waters like this, just picking our way uh, into shallow anchorages which have coral in. But yeah, the uh, scintillating, scintillating blue sea and blue skies that I was hoping from the Bahamas haven't yet materialized, so maybe tomorrow. So the weather has definitely not improved since this morning. And in fact, it's uh, gone downhill quite significantly. Um, we don't know how much wind there is. There's some wind, but I couldn't tell you how much because our wind vane on our anemometer well, it's missing, and I think a bird took it, which sounds ridiculous, but I think it was yesterday morning and I was on the pontoon about to drop our lines and go, and out of the corner of my eye I saw a big bird of some kind, like not a seagull, but like a, I don't know, what kind of bird would it have been? It was a big bird, like huge. And I saw it flap away from the mast, the top of the mast, and I thought, oh, and I actually said to Nick, oh, I think a bird was just sitting on top of our mast. And I don't want to blame the bird, but I think that it's fairly likely that it was actually sitting on our wind vane, and it's taken it with him because it's now missing. Um, anyway, so we don't have any way of telling how windy it is, apart from just having a look around. But it is definitely raining and there's a thunderstorm, not really a thunderstorm, maybe a squall, maybe would be a better description. Light lightning and thunder. So yeah, we've not put all of our electronics in the oven just yet, but I feel like that would be the next step. <laughs> you look like an old grandma. I feel like a fucking old grandma. So this is thunderstorm. The orange. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Yeah. The storm we're going into. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, boys, I'm taking. Just felt the first to cold air, and now the wind's coming out of the south southwest from this storm. Yeah, we uh, noticed on the radar that it seems to be moving towards us rather than away from us. Yeah, is uh, for me, I, I gotta tinker with my radar because it's just a big red blob. Um, are you gonna try to move to avoid it or are you just gonna power it through? I was thinking of taking a full southwest, going to southwest, just go around it. Nick's thinking about going due southwest to skirt round it. But we don't know which way it's moving. But that said, we don't really know which way it's actually moving. Yeah, that's a tricky part. Yeah, we've just had a wind shift here. That's good. If the wind's going that way, the storm should be going that way. So what do you want to do? Oh, the wind the wind is going south. The wind's going that way now, the storm's going that way now. Yeah. As far as the cloud formations go, it looks like the worst of it's kind of above us and behind us. We need to jive, my love. Okay, we need to jive, so, um, yeah. 
I'll chat to you in a sec. Yep, be careful. Ready? Yeah, see you now, yeah? Yeah. You okay? Yep. The temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. Alright, listen. Probably best, let's put some life jackets on, babe. Come on. Well, despite the fact that I ordered obviously 15 knots of warm breeze from the fucking out quarter and lovely blue turquoise seas, we appear to be taking to a fucking thunderstorm. <laughs> so we can see it on the radar, we can see the lightning hitting the water and hear the ominous bellow of the Gorse Thunder Gods um, showing their anger. Yeah, what did we ever do to them? I don't know anything, babe. The storm that was there, and it's, there is still there, but the big, the more, the mass seems to be there, and it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. So we're still sailing through it, but the heaviest rain, the biggest of, and the most electrical clouds are there. But it, you know, obviously it depends on uh, the angle of roll of the boat as the radar spins through. But it's fair to assume that we've got a, 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 a storm cell just to the north. So after what was a pretty average day, we've arrived somewhere called Plana Key. Um, how can I show that to you? I'll show it to you on the uh, Garmin chart app thing later. Um, Hey? I don't know. I didn't touch that. I noticed it was missing. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're here in Plana Key. It was a 35 mile motor sail today. Um, not very pleasant, but it doesn't matter. We're here now. And once again, it's just a beautiful anchorage. I'm amazed. It's just stunning. The sun's come out. The water's crystal clear there's a little bit of swell but our boats are kind of just riding over it we're not rocking or rolling at all it's so much more comfortable than last night where there was quite a bit of chop in the anchorage this is just a little bit of gentle rolly motion which is actually really nice rather than kind of really crap A nice little shot of you and the barbecue and sailor all in one all in one composed shot. Shot. yes so this is what you call a game of two halves game of two halves we went from a shitty thunderstorm i thought we were going to get all our sea cocks blown out by the fucking lightning cracking around us and a shark eating our fish to cooking a massive two inch thick ribeye steak on our barbecue so there you go as long as this doesn't go cavorting into the sea. There you go. This is exactly what we signed up for. I don't know what the wind conditions are because our anemometer isn't working, but the wind's probably about, it's just off the beam, um, which is perfect. And I don't know, I'm guessing that it's blowing around, I don't know, 13, 15 knots. And we're going probably about six knots. So, could not be better. There's no swirl because we're in the lee of the land. The water's blue, the sky's blue, the sun's shining. We're with our friends. This is the life that I dreamed about when we were living in London. This is what I thought it would be like all the time. <laughs> I was wrong about that. But when it does happen, it's just perfection. All we need now is some dolphins. 
and or a fish to eat. Do you want me to slow it down or are you okay? Okay. I need um, like a gap and a landing next to though. What do you want me to do? Gap and a landing now. I can't get this on the All right. Okay. Have you got a landing net? Uh, How do I do this? Do I get down here? I have no idea. Ah! Get it! Ah! Get it! I can't! I can't get it down. Well, I feel that you need to do something that's not worth doing. Wait, 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 What's that fucking net? Look! Get the fucking... Stop spanning! You're a fucking Australian! Just try not to get... Just get the bloody thing! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> if I lose this because you're fucking about... Get it in that net! What is wrong with you? Right, good. Okay. No! Alright. Okay. Okay. Right, Worst landing of a fish. <laughs> this net is not for fishing. It is a fishing net. I know, but it's too small for this. I feel like that was definitely not the way to get a fish onto the boat. Like that was the worst way of doing it ever. We were terrible at that. So before everyone on YouTube was like, <laughs> that was disgraceful. <laughs> we are fully aware. I don't know what to do. Maybe you can comment and let me know. Like it was flapping so much that I couldn't, I couldn't get it in the net. I think the net was too small and the gaff, I couldn't get it gaffed. What we actually did it was like, we literally just manhandled it. Beat it, beat it to <laughs> With our bare hands. And then Nick took to it with a hammer. Hang on. To the other side, it's <laughs> That's how these headers are stoved in. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit windy, and I've got salt all over my lens. Uh, don't know what to do about that. Clean that with my lens uh, cleaner thingy later. So it's quite windy. I don't know how many knots it's blowing. 16 knots. So it's kind of windy enough to keep our wind generator going. Sunny enough for plenty of power. Our batteries are fully charged and I hope that they stay reasonably well charged. Um, and we are in paradise. And every time I go somewhere these days, I feel like I repeat myself, but this is just absolutely stunning. So, our panko, oh my God. our panko breadcrumbs that we carried for like 3,000 miles <laughs> now come to use with our the mahi mahi, which we have now turned into panko covered breadcrumbs <laughs> with panko covered mahi with salsa. How many times can you say panko? <laughs> have you got it? Of course I've got it. You're killing it! How am I finally oh, killing it? No, I got out. <laughs> How did it? It's on my way. Where is oh, it? Oh, Nick. Now where is it? Right here. It's a giant moth. It's not a bat. It's the biggest moth I've ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> What's this? Fucking gay pride fucking... <laughs> Was that your electric fly swatter? Well, it's the fucking landing net that you said is not used as a net. <laughs> and he's back. Oh, God. Okay. Ah! Look at it. It's he likes huge. the lights. Yeah, maybe you should turn the light off. All right, well done. Maybe that's it. Is it 
I don't know, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit too close. <laughs> well, anyway, you're about to make landfall in the Bahamas. You have yet to make landfall in the Bahamas. I have not made landfall in the Bahamas. Oh my god! And just me filming you. I've just realised this. <laughs> so, something weird. Do you know what? I watched all the videos from Kaleva. You spent the entire time telling me off. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. So we're on Atkins Island. We are on Atkins Island. Atkins. Atkins? Atkins or Atkins? Atkins Island. Atkins. In Atwood Harbour. And... It's beautiful. It's just the most amazing thing that I've ever seen, I think. It's just beautiful. Since last time. Since the last time I said that, which was only a few days ago. But yeah, it's just stunning. So let's go and explore. We need to find bread, so milk, <laughs> um, lovely barbed chocolate. Uh, lettuce and tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. These okay. are things that are definitely not happening. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> and then he's always like, and I'm cleaning up your shit. And I'm like, that's yours too. It just happened to be mine at the Might moment. Might have just ruined that club. There's no way you could hear it. Right, some music on top of us. Yeah, yeah, that would be that's like a little. Awesome. We have to put the music on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> Almost yeah. everything I say, I think. We were bound to make mistakes. We love, we thought. It was always on fire Our house, our dream We were dancing on wire Reckless, it seemed I never felt like this before Thank you for watching our episode this week. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Please come back next week. We are continuing to explore the Bahamas. We're in Long Island. We check out the deepest blue hole in the world and we get to chat to one of the best free divers in the world as well, which is really cool. If you like what we're doing, then subscribe here. And if you wouldn't mind joining us on Facebook right here, you can keep up to date with all of our comings and goings.